the Dr. Pepper starting lineups and Stewart at quarterback. You will see Sir Parker also at running back. Now the wideouts, Chris Cole, can they get him going? They try it on first down. Can they get a rhythm with the wideout? Samisi, Heimuli is their best offensive guard. If it's third and one, Heimuli saddles up on the right side for the Aggies. Now coming to work against a defense that has given up only 11 points a game as an average. And you saw pressure, enormous pressure on Stewart. Second down and 10. Dante Hall cut back beautifully in the carpet. There's that Aggie speed. And he picks up eight and almost nine yards before Mark Simino makes the stop. Now, we mentioned this defense, coached by Mike Stoops, brother of Bob, the new head coach at Oklahoma. Folks, Darren Howard, no pub, but I want to tell you right now, number 49 out of St. Petersburg is a big timer. Simino and Kelly, two outstanding linebackers. Secondary has been juggled. They had to get help. Gerald Neesman is healthy. He's on one corner. Jeremetrius Butler on the other. If there's any shaky part about this defense, it is back there in the secondary. So Bishop, he's lost only one game as a college quarterback in J.C. Ball or at Kansas State. And that was last year to Nebraska in Lincoln. He is 46-1 and one as a starting quarterback, and they open with him back in the shotgun where he is extremely dangerous. And this is what he does as well as any quarterback in the country. Taking off and then carrying three defenders with him for a first down. The all-time rushing leader from Fort Lauderdale. Carries the ball. Aaron Lockett, the speedster. And that is Kevin's brother, Darnell McDonald, the tall wide receiver. Ryan Young, big time. Left tackle from right here in St. Louis. So it's a homecoming for him. Win here and then get help from perhaps Miami staying alive and here's Bishop's second run of the game and he's going to be tossed for a loss by Roland Bradley the sophomore outside linebacker this is what the Aggies do well is run on the flank and Ron Edwards at nose man there'll be a six-man rotation and Edwards played well against Texas he'll try to do the same and of course the great one 500 career tackles for that win Brandon Jennings an interception against the Longhorns Jason Webster and Cedric Curry back there in the corners. Michael Jamison into the game as the nickel man in this coverage. And here's Bishop going to set the screen. Here's Hickson. Gets a beautiful block. But Hickson dives toward the first down. The spot will determine it. And he looks to be less than a yard short. Here's Bishop. Short drop. Now he pulls back deeper, waiting for someone to clear. Lock it well covered. Back the other side to his fumble. Loose ball. Aggies got it. Recovered at the 23-yard line by Jason Webster, number 39. Justin Swift turns it over. First down and 10. This the third Dr. Pepper Big 12 championship game. Second one to be played in St. Louis. Here is the play flicker. Back Stewart's hit on the release. And it's intercepted by Kelly. Kelly's got it at the 23 for the Wildcats. The great defense. Hunter puts it down. Hello, scoreboard. Here he comes, baby. Go get him, Martin. The day this is. Uh, first down and 10. The computers will be worn tonight. Here's Butler, short drop. Pump fake down to the middle. Got Swift again to the 21 yard line. Beautiful pump fake by Bishop. Yeah, and the Wildcats making mistakes. Now Bishop's got a wide open man. The tight end Swift. Touchdown. K State. 16 yards. They'll try him again. They'll sprint him to the side. He's got the first down. You got to stick with him. 37. Now, let's see. And Butler, the corner, not much of a match over there, was he, folks? They're going to keep running. Huge hole. Dante at midfield. Dante Hall carries the Aggies on his shoulders to the 39-yard line. A burst of 23. Now, remember. They frequently like to throw the ball to Sir out of the backfield if they can. He's a fine receiver. They're inside the 30-yard line. Two stays in. Brinkley a wide out. They're going to run Parker. Cuts back under the hole. Got a 20. Got the speed. 15 from behind at the 9-yard line. Butler. Led Mickey. The long snapper. And the Aggies are on the scoreboard. Here's the Bishop on the drop. Everybody covered so he can pull it back and wait to now goes long and got his big play receiver. Touchdown, McDonald. 66 yards. Let the settle. 
celebration begin in the Little Apple? Unplug the computers, ladies and gentlemen. It's now in the hands of the men and the boys. It is now up to Kansas State and Tennessee, baby. No more polls. Let it be decided on the field where it should have been all along. Here we go. Back deep. Got a man wide open. And so out of the doghouse comes Chris Cole to make a play for the Aggies. And it's a big one. Dante Hall, first down beautifully on that cutback. Explodes. And he rolls close to the five-yard line. The one thing that Snyder and the Wildcats must avoid is a letdown after hearing the Miami up. And Bynum is two of two. So again, the Aggies threaten, but K-State's talented defense holds timeout. And again, Coach Snyder, Bishop, and the Wildcats are just one half away from playing for a national championship. Coaches have already got them ranked number one in their poll. The Riders have them number two. UCLA beaten today. Tennessee to play against Mississippi State tonight. And Florida State hoping for still another upset. Bishop fires intercepted. Picked up by Datwin, who dropped back on the zone coverage. And the great linebacker is out of bounds and saves the moment for the Aggies. Datwin. One of the great effort youngsters to ever come along in this sport. Oh, no. First down, and here is Stewart. Hit on the roll. He's down and he's grabbed by Taylor. What a grab. Penalty flag comes flying. Chris Taylor somehow came out of that sandwich that he was in the middle of for a 24-yard gain. Now, remember, they can still pick up a first down. K-State cheering such and making as much noise as they possibly can. Right ahead into the end zone for the Aggies. Touchdown! This is for two points in the conversion. Slant, got it. Parker, short of the goal line. Chapman makes a great tackle for the Wild. Roll right. Fire back across the field to a wide open McDonald. First down at the 47-yard line. And so enter Martin. Dramatica, a 45-yarder, and almost blocked. Just good. Under fierce pressure, Martin Gramatica nails a 45-yarder. And the lead is eight. We're trying to straighten things out. He's got five seconds on that clock. Fires. Taylor got it. Yanks it away. Howard. Here he is, 270 pounds. He blows by the offensive guard, and now the double hit there as Ben Lieber with the big hit causes the ball to come loose, and McIntosh has got it. And Rex Tucker, watch number 53, the offensive lineman. He cannot wrap this loose football up. Misses. Kick free and recovered by McIntosh. And now coming out, it is Michael Bishop and the Wildcats from the 49-yard line, deep drop, Bishop to the middle, got McDonald again at the 29-yard line for a first down, 20 more yards for Darnell McDonald receiving today. They said a good, outstanding high school catcher, and of course, obviously, as you point out, too many base runners spray on it. Five for 125 yards for McDonald, Bishop got one, here's, oh, Lockett takes a belt at the five and hangs on, the freshman wide out, it's first and goal, 24 more yards. Brian Goolsby, the big fullback, now shifts over to the left, and there's only four seconds left on the 25-second clock. Quarterback draw, Bishop slips free, reaches end zone, touchdown, Kansas State. Both of the cornerbacks, tight defense, they go one-on-one, -on -one, wide open, one slips in there, Taylor, and it is Cooper who saves the touchdown. He comes off the angle, from his safety position as Neesman slipped on the coverage and Taylor wide open on the play for 35 yards. And Neesman is uh, falling down there. Remember, he's got a bad leg, but Taylor wide open here. He's had three big catches today for 85 yards. Brandon Stewart going right side. I got it. Touchdown.
touchdown, Texas A&M, Leroy Hodge, the junior flanker, 13 yards for the score. And his first catch of the game is a big one for A&M. Down by eight, and Stewart to the middle, got a completion. They bail him out as he does finally find the middle, and that is Spiller, the tight end for 26. Here's Stewart from the middle, got it all wide open again. And Spiller rolls inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Short drop deflected, K-State ball. They're 326 away from playing for the championship as Damian McIntosh, number 77, deflects the forward pass. Now they've run the clock out if you can. Yeah. But here is your play for the Aggies now. Looking at a third and six. They've got a timeout left. They want the ball back. Want to force the punt. Bishop will try to run for it. Bishop, the ball! It is a first down. Aggies have got it. Bishop fumbles. Cornelius Anthony wraps it up. Brings it back 15 yards all the way to midfield. First down for the Aggies. Stewart got one on one. Goes one caught at the 14-yard line. Matt Bumgardner makes his first catch of the game. 36 yards. Short drop. Got Parker slant. Got it. Touchdown. Two points away from a tie at the 105 mark of regulation. Hodge is in the slot, and now Parker will join him in motion. Stewart's got him in, he's got him. It's tied with 105 to go. Three seconds left, final play of regulation. Then we head to overtime, unless. Here's Bishop. Running out of trouble, going to throw it deep down the middle. Got his receivers clustered. Jump ball, loose cut, but over. Cut short of the goal line, but the game ends. As Everett Burnett, a St. Louis youngster, pulls it down, but two yards short of glory. Ball was thrown about 70 yards in the air, and it has a nice flutter to it. That gives the receivers a chance to get down under it. And what a great effort by Bishop and these three receivers of his. And Bynum puts three on the board. Kansas State gets the ball. We'll take a break as overtime continues in St. Louis. Brandon Knowles, the long snapper, the punter. James Garcia, the holder. And we play on. Short drop, fade, in zone, incomplete. The intended receiver was Darnell McDonald. And it has come to Gramatica time again. And Automatica trots onto the field. Great coverage by Cedric Curry on McDonald. That's a good matchup. Curry is six foot two. McDonald goes about six three. Ball thrown a little bit too far to the outside. A 25-yarder. The young man from Argentina who is three of three. Played one year of high school football in Florida. Nails another one. Stewart has slot to his left. Using Parker in motion and Butler takes him. They'll look for Parker on a quick hit. Sugar Bowl or the FedEx Orange Bowl. How do you like that? 